Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another Vlogmas and today I am going to be making some mince pies. Um, I've left the comfort of my upstairs studio, also known as the spare room, and we're now downstairs in my kitchen. Um, and I'm going to be making some gluten-free um, vegetarian mince pies. Um, so I've got my normal pastry recipe which I have doubled, so I've got 8 ounces of um, flour and I've got 4 ounces of hard margarine, or they could use butter. I'm going to be adding 2 eggs to this. Um, because I like a really rich um, pastry dough and I've also added just a little bit of sugar just to sweeten the pastry. Let's get on and bake! Okay, so one tip for when you're making pastry is if you think you've got um, breadcrumbs, you just give a bowl shake and that just brings any lumps to the top so then you can just work those in and finish off. Yeah. Right, I'm now going to add the two eggs. Okay, now wheat free flour is a little bit drier and it needs extra water which is why I added the two eggs. I'm just adding a tiny bit of water now as well. Because gluten free flour doesn't have gluten to give it any elasticity, um, it does feel very, very different to normal flour. It doesn't have um, the elastic tendencies, um, it doesn't bounce back, and um, it does feel drier and um, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Okay, now rolling out, you do need lots and lots of flour to make sure it doesn't stick and on your rolling pin as well. I split my dough into two pieces, one to be the bases and one to be um, the tops. Okay, so now it's time to fill the mince pies. I have bought some mince meat from Aldi, which is the same one that I used last year. Um, so let's get on and fill the mince pies. Okay, so here are 12 mince pies ready to go in the oven. I will be cooking them for about um, 10 to 15 minutes um, at gas mark six or seven. Uh, we have a fan oven so it's a little bit different um, and I will take them out after about 10 minutes and just sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top and then put them in for the remaining 2 to 5 minutes. So here are the mince pies in all their rustic glory. Um, you may have noticed that they have puffed up slightly. I did actually use self-raising gluten-free flour for this um, because it was all I had in the cupboard. Um, they haven't got soggy bottoms, they all look nice and crisp. Um, but the thickness of the pastry is due to the self-raising flour rather than I just rubbish it rolling out. But the big question is, what do they taste like? Okay, so I'm going for one of the puffed up ones just to check that the pastry is fully cooked all the way through. Mmm. Mm. It's lovely and crispy. Ever slightly cakey in the middle where it's touched the um, mince meat, but I think that's due to the self-raising flour. Definitely, definitely not soggy at all. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy eating some mince pies this Christmas, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.